Hi there, Internet. I'm Polar the Polar Bear, and welcome to another episode of the Micro Bear Gourmet. This morning, we're trying a couple of things by El Monterey. You should, you, I, I should have posted the video yesterday of the uh, uh, bean and cheese burritos. These are beef and bean chimichangas, which... And for, for some reason, I had the hardest time remembering this when I would order at Mexican restaurants and stuff. A chimichanga is basically a like a deep fried burrito. Um, you, you know, you take a burrito, you fry it, and that's a chimichanga. And they're kind of awesome. Um, I totally recommend if you're going to like a Mexican restaurant, grab grab a chimichanga because they're really good. Um, but yeah, we got a beef and bean over here that's had a chance to cool a little bit, hopefully, <laughs> while we were trying the other one. You can see it's. This one actually didn't explode that badly. It blew up a little bit, but not nearly as bad as the beef and or as the bean and cheese burrito did. So let me get my fork into this thing and give it a try. Man, someone is playing the crap out of a, uh, out of a, uh, like, crazy stereo system right now. Apartment neighbors. Um, man, that is ridiculous. Uh, so, hopefully that's not coming across on the recording. Um, get another, <coughs> oh, excuse me, get you kind of in there. Carol, really, it's it's just it's just beef and bean. I mean, there's not a lot to see uh, on the inside of it. It's it's fairly well stocked with uh, uh, filling. So mm. now that is pretty delicious. Um, I don't know if I'd. Well, yeah, you know, actually, I think I would. Um, that the uh, the combination of the kind of fried uh, tortilla on the outside and the good—it's really it's good beef on the inside with a little bit of bean mixed into it, um, and it tastes good. Uh, it's not going to get any points in either direction for for pricing because it's again for eight of those it's it's about two twenty nine, uh, same as the burritos. So it's about the same uh, sort of price uh, price range, um, but uh, as but that taste that's a really good taste, and I'd say that actually brings it up to a, a seven. Um, and if I I might I might recommend maybe again a little um, not a lot of hot sauce, maybe just a little bit, or maybe sprinkle some cheese, sour cream, like. It could be improved, but I think if you piled too much stuff onto that, you would hide the flavor of the beef, because it is a little bit of a subtle flavor. It's not like a punch in the face. It's really tasty, though, and I definitely recommend 7 out of 10, the El Monterey Beef and Bean Chimichangas. You can see them. They come, they come in the blue pack. They're, El Monterey, like, color codes their burritos and chimichangas for some reason, which, you know, that's cool. I, I, I just don't know why they do it. But yeah, seven out of ten. Definitely recommend the El Monterey uh, beef and bean chimichanga. Um, and thank you all for joining me on another episode of the Micro Bear Gourmet. And I hope to see you all again very, very soon.